At night, aviation of Kyiv regime's punitive forces delivered missile attacks on Alexandrovka, a residential suburb of Lugansk. There were no victims among the militia. The number of casualties among civilian population is to be specified. Self-defense forces who left Kramatorsk and Slavyansk have moved to Donetsk. There they are preparing to defend the city under the command of Commander-in-Chief on the armed forces of the DPR Igor Strilko. A large number of civilians who fear pro kyiv forces filtration have come along with them from the cities of Donetsk region. Let us remind you that militia continues to hold the strategic heights sour grave in the region of Donetsk, and all attempts of pro kyiv forces to occupy it have been held off. That way on July 6 people militia managed to shoot up a T-64 tank and caused significant damage to the National Guard's battalion Azov. On the night of 7 July on the territory of Independence Square in Kyiv, a shooting between the participants of the Euromaidan self-defense Sotnias took place. One person wounded informs the Minister of Internal Affairs of Ukraine. Earlier in Kyiv, an editorial office of the newspaper Vesti was attacked. Several dozens of Ukrainian nationalists fired at the office, threw stones at it and let tear gas into the building. The newspaper employees believe the attack is connected with their editorial policy, which provides an opportunity to speak not only to supporters of Kyiv.